Oh, yeah, baby, we got one. No fucking way. Yes. He came all the way up and hit it. There we go again. Oh, yeah. Got another one, baby. Oh, there we go. Got a bite. Got one. Yeah, buddy. Hell yeah. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be doing some awesome fishing today. Uh, something I've been waiting for for two years now. Uh, the trout are start, finally starting to move into the Lavaca River. So I'm going to be fishing for some speckled trout today. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've, I've been waiting so long for this. Last year, we didn't get to fish for them because the, uh, it was raining too much. And just, they just kept opening the dam up and it was flooding all the uh, salt water out of the river. So the uh, trout didn't move into the river. So we didn't get to fish for trout at all last year. So I've been waiting for two years for this. We're going to do some awesome uh, fishing this morning. They've been catching them, so there shouldn't be any reason why we shouldn't. We ain't going to catch them today. If you guys are new to the channel, uh, consider uh, subscribing and uh, joining the Cajun family and hit the notification bell, and it'll notify you every single time I upload some content so you don't miss anything. Uh, consider giving the video a thumbs up if you enjoy the video, and uh, let's go uh, try to catch some fish. Let's go see if we can find some fish. Them guys said they wasn't having any luck over there where they were at. The water is nice and it's clear, but it's a little bit murky. But it's actually not too, too bad. So uh, we're going to walk down here a ways. Let's we'll see if we can find them. Normally where I catch them at the most is on that last pillar down there. So all the way down on the left hand side of that last pillar or on the right hand side of that last pillar. So we're going to go all the way down to the end and we're going to go see what happens. What's going on, man? Holy shit. Said you caught a bass? Yeah. Really? Uh, you need some hooks? Oh, yeah. That's what I always use. I need some. I'm gonna bring it in. I buy it and buy some. I'll give you a couple. If I have some, let me make sure I got some. What's that? Fishing in Oh, I just got here. Recently? At all? Yeah, no, I haven't. Uh, I've been a few different times, but I always come kind of late, so yeah. I've been missing them. A buddy of mine tore their asses up the other day. I know my boat was catching some, but. Yeah, a buddy of mine destroyed them the other day. He caught so many, it was crazy. He, uh, him and his uh, sons limited out right there at the bridge. What's the biggest? Um, I don't know. I didn't ask him any sizes. All right, let's see. Which one did I put my hooks in? What brand of hooks do you use? All different kinds. Whatever I find on sale. I don't have any specific brand. Oh, here they are. I knew I had uh, some. I brought all four times. So what time about probably these weight hooks? We this is probably here. But the... Oh shit, that one don't have that. Oh, how big is bass have to be? Bass? I think it's 15 like uh like trout. I didn't measure it. It's a lot. Yeah, it should be around 14 or 15. The bass might actually be 14. I think they're the same as flounder. He's on that finger right there. I'll look at him and tell you if he's uh you should be able to tell. Oh that's a nice trout for sure. Yeah. Uh he might be a little short. That's a pretty nice little bass though. Yeah. I wouldn't take the chance on him. Let They're him kind go. of a pain anyways, man. They got yeah. such a huge uh Let him go. Yeah, make sure he's still alive, though. I think he is, I don't know. Yeah, he looks about 13 or 14. It looks a little too small. Oh, if I catch more trout, I'll keep him. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to see if I can get over there to this spot. I, 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 I ready, Man, where did this big old log come from? Down, this log wasn't even here a week ago when I came here. Shoot! Oh well, I already got a little bit wet. Ain't no sense of stopping. <laughs> oh man, 
I forgot about this one. Okay. Yeah, I've done been down here a couple different times since it started getting cold, but uh, sadly I haven't had any luck getting uh, getting any trout. I keep showing up late, 10, 11 o'clock after they already run first thing in the morning, or I show up a day too late when they run the day before. All right. So this is normally where I like to fish at on the left hand side of this pillar right here seems to be good and sometimes out this way. So I guess I'm gonna start over here first. Fish off this side. And then if I don't catch anything right there, then I'm gonna move over and try it over there. Cause I've, there were several times, two years ago when I came out here, I was fishing this spot right here in front of this tree. And uh, that guy just uh, went past and was talking to me. His dad was fishing on the left hand side of this pillar. And he was tearing them up. I wasn't catching anything. And he was landing them left and right. So let me finish whizzing real quick. Drain the main vein. And then uh, we're going to chunk this purple cockahoe minnow and see if uh, we can hook on to something. They got several boats out right now. Once the word gets out about the trout being in the river, everyone and their mama show up from all over the place to come out here and fish. So, uh, it gets pretty crazy out here. This is what I'm going to be fishing with, a uh, pretty good sized cockahoe minnow. I think it's a four inch, four and a half inch. Big one because I want the big fish. I'm here for keepers. I want to take some fish home, so that's the color I'm going to be fishing with. Uh-oh. I swapped my line out and added some more line to this and uh, I just backlash so I might have to do some adjustments. Alright, here we go. Let's try it again. There we go. Come on baby, let's get some trout. Been waiting for this for two years, man. Two years I've been waiting. I didn't get to catch no trout last year. At least not out here, out of the river here. They only come in this river when it's real, real cold. And they're looking for the muddy bottoms. And they, uh, they sit on them muddy bottoms in order to try to keep warm from the cold water. And the muddy bottoms stay kind of warm. So they come in the river looking for them muddy bottoms. And, uh, so they pretty much flood these rivers and they'll be running the bait down and straight up destroy them when they come through because they come through by thousands. I mean, there's sometimes you can come through here and every single cast you catch a fish. It gets pretty ridiculous. We're going to have to come back whenever the... Uh, Whenever the major starts, the major is always a little bit off. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I'll show you the app I'm using. Actually, it's probably one of my favorite apps for uh, checking the. Uh, it's one of my favorite apps for checking the uh, the tides and stuff to find out when the low tide and high tide and stuff is, and it uh, really helps me figure out what times I want to fish. Now it's not 100% accurate because. Um, it goes off of the major stations and the closest major station for me is a long ways off so you kind of have to give it an hour or two difference uh, either an hour or two late or an hour or two early you have to just come out here and just try it and see what happens so right now oh no I don't have internet so uh, it's not updating but at um, the minor ended at about 10.30 and right now it's almost 12 o'clock and it's showing that the major which is the big one it's gonna start at 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock whenever low tide is here and like I said it's normally an hour earlier an hour later a couple hours uh, to each side 
because it's going off of Port Lavaca and Port Lavaca is about 20 miles from here so the tide is not going to be exactly the same here as it is Port Lavaca it'll be an hour to uh, difference and so we're gonna probably come out here around 2 o'clock and uh, and fish until dark from 2 to about 5 put about three hours good in this evening and uh, and see what happens this is called fishing times also it has a uh, calendar here I can't really show you all guys all the features because I don't have internet it's really really bad service in this area and I have sprint so sprints already bad I use that one and then I always use a barometer you can see here that the uh, pressure is 30.33 which is extremely high normally when it's real high like that you'll uh, find the fish in deeper waters uh, really high pressure is uh, is really bad on them it's hard for them to eat it's very very uncomfortable so you'll find a lot a lot of times when the pressure is high uh, they'll be in the deeper waters uh, eat, uh, when the pressure is uh, normal and it's uh, and it's perfect it's three three zero and zero across the board it won't have the threes on there uh, 3.3 is high it's not super super high you'll, you'll see uh, temp you'll see pressures up to about 30.5 30.6 something like that when there's a really 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 cold arctic blast coming through and stuff like that and normally they won't eat at all when it's that um when it's that high right now it's 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 good enough to where they'll eat you'll just normally find them in the deeper waters and then i use fish brain and i use fish angler also to try to look at the map and kind of see where people are catching stuff and then i use this other uh app here called uh new tide uh null tide i guess a new tide and uh, it's probably not going to load up because I don't have internet. But uh, it'll also tell you good times of fish and uh, what the pressure is, what the water temperature is at. And it gives you a whole bunch of good information also. So that's all the apps that I use to kind of give me an idea. And sometimes I'll actually check the, um, I'll actually check the, um, uh, what do you want to call it? Um, the uh, fisherman's calendar. And uh, and I'll check the uh, the uh, farmer's almanac fishing uh, times, and uh, it, it'll sometimes tell you uh, pretty good days to uh, fish and uh, whether or not it's better in the morning or in the evening. And it pretty much just goes off of what the uh, what the moon cycles are doing. It doesn't really have anything to do with the tides. But a lot of times, uh, the tide, the, most of the time, the tides will actually follow the moon cycle. So uh, it kind of goes hand in hand, anyways. So um, I've always uh, talked to old timers that always said that they always uh, loved the uh, farmer's almanac fishing uh, things. That uh, they always had pretty good, uh, pretty good luck with it. So uh, I use it once in a while too, but I seem to have bad luck whenever I use it. I don't really catch anything when it says I'm supposed to. So I kind of quit using it. But um, it happens I mean you can't guarantee every time you go out you're gonna catch fish unless you got a boat and you go chase them down so uh, it could have had nothing to do with the farmer's almanac uh, it could have just had to have been that I just picked a really bad day so uh, I mean that happens so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and wade myself back to the car I'm gonna go get in the car and uh, run up to the local store here and go get some food Get me a new drink because I know my drink's probably watered down right now. And uh, go eat something. And then uh, the water's going to be going out all day. And we should have low tide around uh, around 3 or 4 o'clock. And right when that water swaps over, or right before it swaps over, about an hour before it swaps and starts coming in, it should be some pretty good fishing. So that's what we're going to be looking at, trying to do this evening. None! I didn't even get a bite. You got some more? Do I want them? Yeah, I'll take them if you don't want them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm aggravated, man. I can't. This is the fourth time I've come out here, and I just can't catch them. I always miss them somehow. They should have been. I mean, if you caught one, then they had to be coming through at some point. It looks pretty good size, about 18, 19. I, I told Bear that on the boat a, a while back. A 22 and a half. You did? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Heck yeah, I appreciate it. Welcome. Catch the bass, too. I don't want them.
Two days at least. So to eat a whole from the bass too? Yeah, I'll take him. He don't look like he's alive enough to let him go. He'll end up dying. Yeah. I'll take a chance. Well, he's probably undersized, but whatever. Oh yeah, he's kicking some. No, I'll uh, leave him in there for a little bit. The thing about bass is they got a really, really big uh, rib cage on them, so whenever you fillet them, you don't really get much meat off of them unless they're pretty big. Oh yeah, let him go. He's good. Shoot ya. Go ahead. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So what I did was um, went and ate some food. It's still only like uh, let's see what time it is. It's only 12.30. I wasn't really going to try to fish anymore until about 2 or 3 o'clock. But I went ahead and came over to the other boat ramp, which is right down the river on the opposite side of the uh, river. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some casts out here and see if maybe I could hook up on something. I'm watching some guys in the boat on the other side fishing, and I just seen a guy catch a little small trout. So they're out. I don't know whether or not we're going to catch anything, but we're going to give it a shot. So let's give it a, let's, let's see what happens. All right, everyone. We're back at the same location we were at earlier this morning I'm gonna go ahead and try for right right here for a little bit it's only two o'clock I really want to wait till about two thirty to three o'clock before I bother going around the corner there and go wading down the uh, side um, so I'm just gonna fish right here for a little bit and see what happens I see a lure right here I'm gonna go ahead and get it I don't like when people leave their lures out here. Plus, it looks like a good spinnerbait lure. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Free spinnerbait lure. Maybe I'll try it. My buddy, uh, my buddy Johnny's been fishing with uh, spinnerbait uh, type uh, setup for uh, for redfish, and he said they absolutely love it. So, uh, who knows? Might actually catch something on it. Oh, yeah, baby, we got one. No fucking way. Yes. He came all the way up and hit it. Finally got one. Heck yes. He might actually be a keeper. We're going to have to measure him out. Man, he followed it all the way to the bank and he slammed it. Yes! Finally! <laughs> Look at that beautiful fish. Alright, let's measure him and see what's up. He's legal, baby. Heck yeah. Throw him in the chest. Oh yes, baby. Oh my God. I'm so freaking excited. This is awesome. I've been waiting for this for two years now. Two years I've been waiting on this and I got one. Oh my God, it's on now. Braid is a nightmare in the wind. Oh, there we go. Got a bite. Got one. Yeah, buddy. Hell yeah. Woohoo! I bet he's a keeper, too. Oh, no. He's too small. I don't know. He's pretty close. I think he's too small. He's probably about 14. But check that awesome little fish out. Woohoo, baby. Yeah, we on them now. We on them, baby. Oh, got one. Yes. As soon as it hit the water, baby. Heck yeah. <laughs> 
Oh my god, I love it. It's probably another keeper to be honest. <laughs> yeah, another little trout. I bet he's a 15. Right at 15 or a little bit less. We're gonna check it. If it is, we're keeping him. We got one more. And uh, I might start throwing some back just so I can catch uh, some bigger ones. All right, let's see. Right there. Oh, if we squeeze the tail, we can get 15 out of him. Another one to a keeper. <laughs> yes, baby. Yes. Oh yeah, he's just a little tiny. Oh man, he got off. Here he is. About a little 12, 13 inch one. Go ahead, little buddy, get out of here. <laughs> All right, so I'm over here on the other side of the river. We were over there on that side, so I went across the bridge and I'm, I'm walking this bank because I was over there fishing and there's a guy over here that's been absolutely destroying the trout. I watched him catch five of them. And I wasn't even getting any bites, so um, I decided to come over here and fish too. Let me see if I can get further out there. Now we're talking. Got him. Yeah, baby. Finally got one. Heck yeah. Hopefully he's a nice one. Finally found some. This one might be a keeper, actually. It looks like a pretty nice one. Mm, nah, he's a little small one. Oh, man, he got off. I didn't even get to show you guys. I'm still looking for that last keeper, though. There's a lot of little ones. That's all he was really catching. I mean, he had three keepers, though. So. It wasn't only little bitty ones. Here we go again. <coughs> oh, yeah. Got another one, baby. <laughs> yes. This one feels a little bit bigger. Nah, he's probably another small one. Starting to tear him up now. Finally got four enough. Yeah, he's another little tiny one. About a little 13 inch. 13, 14 inch. Cool little trout. See you later, little buddy. Alright, I just put the big purple cockahoe minnow back on. And I sprayed it with some garlic, so it's game on now. Oh, yes. As soon as it hit the water, when the big bastards grabbed it, I think. I don't know. I can't tell how big he is, but he grabbed it and he wasn't letting go with that, uh, that garlic on there. Heck, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is a nice one. This is for sure a keeper. Heck, yeah. Throw that bigger lure to get bigger fish. Um, yeah, he definitely looks like a keeper. Oh crap, and he's barely hanging on, he's barely hanging on. Get him in the bucket. Holy crap, that was close. He is barely, barely hooked. Barely hooked, holy crap. Almost lost him, but he's a keeper. 
He's probably about 16, heck yeah, baby. <laughs> Let's do this. Well, thanks a lot, everyone, for the awesome support. Thanks so much for coming by and checking us out. If you're not a part of the Cajun family, consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, to, uh, and it'll be it'll notify you every time I put a uh, video out. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I didn't mean to make it so long, but... I had a lot of stuff I wanted to talk about throughout the video. I wanted to show you guys all the different spots that I was trying. I actually fished from 10.30 in the morning all the way until dark. And uh, three or four different spots. So I wanted to show you guys how much work I put into trying to catch these fish. It wasn't really that easy. Um, I ended up catching them anywhere from 10 to, 10, to 10 to 11 total fish. Some of the fish I didn't get on video because I ran out of battery because I, I filmed so much uh, that I wasn't able to get it all. So you guys missed the last couple that I caught. I actually caught a really nice 18-inch uh, trout uh, after the battery had already died. So sadly, you guys didn't get to see that part of it. But uh, I got some good footage, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for coming to the channel. And definitely uh, stay tuned because I'm going to be doing much more videos here in the future, especially when I get me a new, uh, another vehicle. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for coming by. You guys have a good day and tight lines.